man. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll take the car. Ugh. Well, I'll take the freaking tractor then. You know, every single vehicle I have has a check engine light. Even the Tucky's tractor has a check engine light, and it doesn't even have anything electronic on it. So, I'll just take the horse. Come here, Taco. Good horse. Nothing wrong with a horse. No check engine lights. Nothing. Right, Taco. Even my freaking horses have check engine lights. Well, I have to scan it. So today's project, what I want to talk to you guys about, I get this asked a ton, a ton of times in the comments of the videos, especially whenever I use my diagnostic stuff. The question I always pops up, what app are you using? What app are you using? What app are you using? What app? 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 I'm going to link that video here to explain why I have not done a video about the app. Uh, just a little background to you guys that aren't, uh, weren't subscribers way back then. I made a video about this app. This video talks about the exact reason why I will not make a video about it. The, the app is called Torque Pro. You can use it on your phone, your iPhone, your Android phone, your tablets, all that stuff. Even your uh, laptop if you have a Bluetooth adapter on there. You get a really cheap ELN 327 Bluetooth adapter. You plug it in your vehicle. You hook it up to the Torque app. Thing works fantastic. It really works well on Ford Power Strokes for the 7.3s, 6.0s, and um, I think the 6.4s, 6.7s. Like you can get a whole bunch of data off of it. I don't make videos about uh, about how to set it up or using it because there was another YouTuber named Diesel Tech Ron. Diesel Tech Ron made a really good series of videos. I don't think I can top his videos. Unfortunately, a couple of years ago, Diesel Tech Ron got in an accident and he passed away. Uh, just died on the scene. Uh, it, was a, it was a big tragic, you know, it was a big, kind of, it was a big deal in like a YouTube community, at least for me it was. Um, so in order to try to drive traffic over to his channel that provides his, still provides his family with money, I tell everybody to go over there. That's why I'm going to link it here. There will be a link for Ron's, uh, uh, his channel down here in the description. So go check him out. You can subscribe, but there's no new videos or anything. Just go through and watch all of his old videos. You can learn so much about the 7.3s and 6.0s. The guy's a master at it. So anyway, I digress. Today's video... I want to go over the diagnostic tools that I use and a new diagnostic tool that I was sent by a company. Um, this company contacted me and I've been emailing them back and forth a couple of times. Now, this is whether you want to call it a sponsored video or not. They are not paying me for this review. The only thing they said, we'd like to send you our scan tool. We'd like you to try it out. If you like it, make a video about it. If you don't like it, let us know what you don't like. Fantastic. They sent me this scan tool called uh, the Launch X431 Pro uh, uh, Pros Mini. It's a little tablet-based setup that you've got different adapters. It'll do OBD1, OBD2, and the thing that I really, really like about it, bi bi-directional controls. What are bi-directional controls? Normally, when you see my video, I have this adapt, this exact adapter. This is an ELN 327 device adapter. It's like 15 bucks on Amazon. There's a whole bunch of these that work. There's a smaller blue one. There, there's like a dozen of them. But ELM327, from my understanding, is the actual chipset that they use for OBD2 uh, interface. Any of these devices work. This just happens to be the one that I have. This one will be in the link in the description if you want to buy that one. I hook this one to my phone or my tablet. This is the one I use most often. The other one that I like to use that I spent uh, about $400 on was a Bluepoint. Bluepoint is owned and manufactured by Snap-on. It's part of Snap-on called a micro touch or micro scan three you plug this into the obd you read some code you... now the main problem i have with this adapter and this one these don't read everything i cannot read any let me flip it around right i cannot read any abs or hardly any abs stuff with this i can't read any airbag codes i can't reset any abs or airbag codes with this thing not with the app that i use a torque pro app same thing with this micro scan. 
The micro scan has its place and I bought this before I ever had this ELN327 device. This thing does not give as much data for diesel or for the power strokes that the freaking Torque app does. $400 versus Torque Pro is like five bucks or 10 bucks or something like that and then 15 bucks for this. So for $30, I think this guy will actually perform better than this. Now, these work pretty good. You can actually get by for a very long time with just these two, especially if you're not a, you know, a full-blown line mechanic. These work great. Find all the data you want, delete codes. But you come into situations where you need what's called bi-directional controls. Bi meaning two-way, two-way directional. These are all um, you know, omnidirectional controllers. You just read only. You read data. The only kind of uh, deal you can do is reset a code for the ECM for the computer, and that's it. That's all it does. Just reads data and erases the codes. Sometimes you get into situations where you need to do functional tests, like on a Ford Power Stroke, on a, on a 7.3 and a 6.0s and a 6.4 or 6.7s. If you want to do a cylinder contribution test, can't do it with that kind of scanner. If you want to do a, a cylinder cutout test, an injector buzz test, a, a anything that you can control, like even on the, like a, a lot of the newer ones from 2000 and newer, you can get a scan tool that's bi-directional control. You can actually turn the AC compressor on, which is very, very handy when you're trying to diagnose an AC problem. You can hook your gauges up, you can cycle that AC, uh, that compressor really, really quick, watch your gauges, see if you got pressure kicking on or, you know, or what the deal is with the compressor. So it makes diagnosing that stuff a lot easier. Bi-directional controls is a must for a, a full-blown, heavy-duty, you know, automotive mechanic. You're going to need this stuff. Uh, you need it on the diesels, but diesels, like the, the big rigs and stuff, is a whole different genre of stuff. That's what I got the laptop for. I'm not going into that. I'll make a video about that later. So I've been trying out this lunch, and I'm very skeptical of anything that comes, um, uh, comes from overseas. I don't know if this comes from China, Taiwan, or, or wherever the case is, but I'm kind of skeptical about it. I don't like putting out and promoting products for people that... You know, it's just, you know, I feel kind of like a fly-by-night company. I've researched Launch. Launch has a lot of good reviews, a lot of guys that really like them. I wrote them actually requesting their more expensive unit um, because I didn't think this unit did bi-directional controls. I wrote them back and said, hey, I don't have any use for a scan tool, another scan tool that doesn't do bi-directional controls. They wrote me back and I said, hey, well, it does do it. You know, um, it does do bi-directional controls. It does a whole bunch of different multifunctional stuff. Why don't we send it to you? Try it out. If you like it, you can keep it. Make a video about it. So, cool. As far as the money for this, I think it's a fantastic value. But to get into the market and get bi-directional controls for all, all sorts of vehicles, you're going to have to go to a tool truck or some kind of scan tool. It's going to cost you at least a thousand plus to get the functionality this thing does. Now, I'll open this up show you what comes with it and i was actually kind of shocked oh uh, uh before before i open this up the other scan tool that i picked up um years ago and this is my absolute first scan tool the snap-on mt 2500 otherwise known as the brick why brick because it's big rectangular like a red brick this is the very first one scan tool that i ever had you guys have seen these all over the place. That's it. This thing still works like a champ. Now, it only works up to a certain point like a champ. They make these, the problem with these, you've got all these uh, cartridges you have to put in. So you have to have all these different modules for different vehicles, you know, at least back then. Now they came out with these, they call like world-class modules or something like that, where you could put one or two of these in here and it would do, it would take away all these. Um, this comes in really, really handy for OBD1 stuff. You've got this um, little adapter that you can actually put you know, the certain pins into the adapter to adapt it to here. On the OBD2 side, the pain in the butt is you have these personality keys. The K2 or K2A is like just generic OBD2 stuff. And then to do specific like Ford, Chevy, Dodge, or Toyota, you had to have an actual personality key. So I still keep this guy around because of the some of the OBD1 stuff, like that's the uh, Chrysler adapter. Um, I've got a Ford adapter somewhere. Well, thought I had a Ford adapter. What is that? That's Chrysler one. I think that's uh, I think that's Ford. Yeah, my Ford adapter. So I still keep this guy around. Still works fantastic. You plug it in, good to go. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is one of the first presents my wife bought me when we got together because I didn't have a scan tool. So. What do you get in a launch? 
This video is going to be a little longer than my normal video. Hey, Ethan, will you help me, buddy? Yeah. Grab that box and slide her out. Thank you, bud. So, what does this come with? When I open this up, I, I read the description of this, and I, I guess I, I misread it or something. But it comes with different adapters, which I thought was pretty cool. You got your GM, Honda, Toyota, Toyota, Chrysler. Um, you got one for the old Mercedes, and you even had one for the old BMWs. What you have? Well, we have a new BMW yeah. now. Um, the actual scanner itself is pretty straightforward. It's just a handheld tablet. Now, what I do think is pretty freaking neat this guy right here, that's your Bluetooth. Effectively the same thing as this, but you actually have a spot for it. That's your Bluetooth adapter. Slides in there, it's got a little spot. Now I don't know if that's got a battery in it or not. I don't think it does, it shouldn't. Um, you've got all these different adapters. Something I really, really, really like about this. Uh, a lot of times when you go to plug into a vehicle, you plug your scan tool into it and you get nothing. No power, like the snap on MT2500 has to have power. So if you plug it in, there's no power, doesn't work. If you plug it in, there's no power to the OBD2 port on this one, doesn't work. No power to OBD2 port here, doesn't work. Now you have to figure out why it doesn't work and you gotta go chasing problems or uh, supplying voltage directly to the, you know, I think it's pin 12 on these or something like that. So this one comes with a battery clamp and a cigarette lighter adapter to where you can actually plug it in to the, uh, to the unit itself, um, right there. You can plug it in and then you can actually communicate with it. You don't have to go chasing down that freaking power issues, which happens a lot. Um, there's some more adapters in here. Um, I'm not sure, what, <laughs> not sure what all of them do, but you got plenty of adapters for everything. Here, you've got a couple of adapters. Uh, you've got one that plugs directly into the unit, plugs right into there and then you plug it directly into the car so you don't even have to deal with the Bluetooth adapter if you don't want to. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through all these adapters. I wanna try, really try this thing out and give it a run for its money. From my experience, most of these scan tools that sell you all of these different adapters with it, you hardly ever use all these different adapters. I mean, some of these have like, looks like this one is for a particular um, uh, module or control module or something to reflash um, and whatnot. So I use this guy on my truck while ago. It, it worked fantastic. I even hooked it up to our, uh, we sold the F-150 and we bought a car, it's a 2011 BMW. It has so much functionality with the BMW, it's crazy. I can reflash stuff, I can get into the actual programming or the coding, which if you guys know about BMW, there's a way that you can get in, you can change values and you can change stuff with the coding. Generally you buy an app and you buy an adapter and it's like $150, $200 to do it. This freaking guy does it. But well, I'm gonna hook it up to the, uh, the service truck real quick and uh, fire it on and show you what we can do. Hey, just showing your legs. Can you see me now? Yeah, I can see you. All right. So, this is a 2001 F350 with a V10. It's the 6.8 liter V10. So if you wanna scan it, all we do is we pull the adapter out, plug it into the OBD2 port, and turn it on so we'll turn it on it'll go through its um, process now something that, it, that it, I tried this out while ago and I, I thought this is pretty pretty freaking cool my blue point and my snap on if you're doing the vehicle you have to do a manual vent entry um, a lot of newer cars don't have you know they they that function that deal went away to where you just hook up to the car and identify as a car you don't have to do manual event manual vent entry I have used my snap-on MT2500 with this truck and I have to do manual freaking vent entry. It looks like a tablet. It does. You've got remote diagnosis, software upgrade, maintenance help, personal center, all this other special functions. All I did, I haven't, I really haven't gone through this thing and did everything, but you've got all of these freaking different manufacturers for all sorts of stuff. I saw, I saw four. Yeah. Pretty much any vehicle on the planet you can think of, this thing will cover. So we'll go to American. We'll go to Ford. We'll hit that. We'll hit Submit. All right, so we got Manually Select, Manually Reset Service, the F650, F750 test specifications, Automatically Search. So we'll do the Automatic Search. Hit OK. Okay. So something, something really cool about this setup, like back up, Ethan. So here, show me. So I'm sitting here in my shop and my truck's right there. 
Yeah. Got the truck running. This thing is wireless, so I can sit out here and I can actually do all these functional tests from here. Now, I'm doing that because it's easier to have my son record me from here. You know, obviously I would normally sit inside the truck, but. So you have all these different, uh, you can do health reports. Health report will scan everything in the system, tell you if there's any codes, um, system scan, system selection, special function, module programming and vehicle information. Let's do special function. We'll do the powertrain. Uh, here, let's do power balance. <clears throat> all right, so this is showing me my cylinder contribution. So you got cylinder one, six, uh, or one, two, seven, three, eight, four, and then nine, 10. So what you're looking for is you're looking for any of these that are just way, way off. So Rock, right now, they all look pretty good. So we'll go back. Relative compression. All right, it says uh, set ignition to, to key on engine off, not met. Fully depressed accelerator pedal to the floor. I'm not gonna do this right now. I'm just showing you guys, this is like, the only other meters I have, I've ever, um, the ever only diagnostic deals I've used that actually have all this stuff are usually manufacturer specific stuff or high end, really expensive diagnostic tools. And I've gone through all these. Every single one of these functions actually works right. Now I'm having a hard time pushing on this because there's a plastic screen on here. I didn't take the plastic protector off, so I'm having to push through it. But like something that normal OBD2 stuff will not uh, do, like the PATS. PATS is, uh, I think it's passive anti-theft system or something like that that's the anti-theft for the ford that's the little chip or the transponder in the key so no pads installed well this is a service truck so there's not going to be a pads installed most of the uh, super duties don't have that um, i don't have remote keyless entry but you know that's just kind of showing you all of the uh the functions on it i know this really isn't probably showing you guys a whole lot i'm going to turn the truck off and i'm going to go hook up to the bmw Every single automotive shop that I've ever worked at, we always had problems scanning German cars and European cars for some reason. We, we, hardly, we could hardly ever do everything we needed to do on a Volkswagen, an Audi, a Mercedes-Benz, or a BMW for whatever reason. And generally, it was no communication. So we're going to go over there, hook this up to my BMW real quick, and I'll show you all the crazy amount of stuff that you can do with this freaking thing. I'm, I'm really blown away by it. Guys, my, my dad still has a gun in this play button here. I want to see it. Okay, so we're in the BMW. So this is a, you guys haven't seen this on the channel yet. This is fairly new. We sold the F-150. My wife was having some issues driving the F-150. She was having a hard time parking it and it was kind of annoying her and um, uh, just decided to sell it. And then we bought this car. And this car is about a quarter of the price of the F-150. So. I'm not a huge BMW fan. I've never owned a BMW, but you know, I'm willing to give it a shot. The price was cheap enough, so we bought it and we'll see if it's good. But on the scanner, we'll go to uh, European BMW. There's there's a whole lot, I mean, <laughs> there's not a whole lot of stuff that I get really excited about. Diagnostic stuff is uh, something I get excited about. I love the diagnostic procedure of things. If I had my way, I would prefer just to show up, diagnose a problem, let somebody uh, know what they need to do, and then just leave and have them do all the work. I'm not real fascinated with the work anymore because I've just done it for so long, but I really like figuring out problems with stuff. Uh, a setup like this allows you, you know, it gives me so much more versatility to work on things. Like a perfect example, my mother-in-law's car. She has a 2001 Toyota Avalon. Um, she loves those Avalons. This is her second one that she's had. She absolutely loves that car. The airbag light is on. She asked me today, I could read, uh, I could use my other scan tool to read the airbag light, but I did, I couldn't, I just can't do anything about it. I can't reset it, whatever. So I told her, well, I can fix the problem, but you have to go to like Toyota or somebody to, now with this thing, I can actually hook up to her car and I can read the, the actual code and delete the freaking code once I've made the repair. Uh, in my experience, a lot of time airbag lights, you, you delete it, you see if it comes back, if it comes back, then you know you've actually had the problem. So uh, on the BMW, uh, you've got the automatically search that does every single one of the modules in the car. Right now, the check engine light's not on in the car, but there is a couple of stored codes, which is pretty normal for vehicles with, that are CAN bus. That's a CAN bus means all the modules in the vehicle all talk to each other, and they all they only instead of having like your main ECM having three communication wires that go to the body control module, then one to the other one. The ECM will send a signal to you know through the body control module that goes through another one. They call it a communication access network, um, and whatever bus stands for, I forgot. So anyway, 
Um, it'll search every single system on the car. It'll let you know there's uh, what there's codes in. Uh, you got manually select. That's when you can actually go to the specific module you're trying to hit. The coding and program is something I, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away that it's actually on here. I don't know if like the snap-on scanners and all the other scanners have the coding. I'm, I'm, a, I'm assuming they do because you spend ten thousand dollars on a scanner, it should. But you know, you go to coding and program three series. Uh, this is an E90 uh, car key memory coding program. Um, what this does, there's different things to actually change. So like I can change on this car, if I hold down the lock button, all the windows will all open. Um, the sunroof will open, all four windows will open. But you can't hold down a lock, but you can't like double tap the lock button and get them to all close. On this setup, I can actually change that to where I hit the lock button twice and everything all rolls up. That's just an option at BMW that if you want it, they charge you for it, you know, and it's like a three, two, three hundred dollar option. And all they really do is they just go in and they select it on, you know, at the dealer to add that function to it. It's very annoying. So you can go through here. You can um, uh, do the coding. You can do individuals, freaking test. So this is like all the coding stuff. There's instrument cluster, air conditioning, footwell. Um, go to the air conditioning. So anyway, you can go through here. You can change a lot of these um, uh, the functions. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to play with that a little bit later. I will show you some of the functional tests that I thought was pretty cool. Okay, so we actually have the actuation test and special function. Now the rest of these, read fault memory, clear fault memory, read data, read freeze frame. So we can do a, uh, we'll go to general. So these are all the function it gives. Fuel injector one off, two, three, four, five, six off. This is a straight six motor. Clock fuel injector, smooth running test, electric fan that's turning them on and off. The electric coolant pump, I can turn it on to 50% or 95%. The solenoid tank valve, the fuel pump, the variable intake system one and system two, I can I manually do that. Um, I can. Uh, I don't know if this car has that exhaust flap on it or not, but you can actually uh, control it. And then the other one, cylinder um, uh, correction on and off. Uh, so you can turn that off or turn it on or you can turn it off. So cylinder correction, if I remember right, that's the computer trying to add fuel or spark to one particular cylinder to try to get it to function and, and basic uh, to, to get it as powerful as the rest of the cylinders. And if it doesn't do that, it'll take all the power from the other cylinders and drop it down a little bit. Like it'll kind of retard the timing, a little less fuel, stuff like that, to try to balance the engine out so the engine is actually balanced the most um, uh, effectively. So you can turn that off to see if the ECM, the computer is actually doing that or not. At least I, that's what I, if I think I remember. If I'm wrong, you guys tell me in the comments. I'm not I'm not super uh, educated on BMWs. I don't know if that's a BMW issue or not, um, or just BMW or the newer cars. But anyway, I don't know if that's you know BMW only. But maybe you guys can tell me. But that's my understanding of it. I've droned on and on about this scan tool uh, enough. I've showed you guys what this thing can. Oh, this is something cool. So if you guys can hear that. It's telling me, it's like, hey, don't forget your adapter, which I would forget my adapter. And you put the adapter in the back, hit OK, and it turns that deal off. I'm super excited to, to, to use this. Um, I was kind of skeptical at first. I, I thought maybe it's going to be like a generic um, scan tool. You know, it's not going to be that great of a scan tool. And and maybe some of the, the wording in it's going to be, you know, a lot of times there's a, mis, a mistranslation from China to uh, at least in English to where it just doesn't like when you're reading it doesn't make sense like you know they didn't do a really good job of it or whoever did the um whoever did the translation didn't you know didn't know what they were doing but this is written really really well it's easy to use easy to follow i'm really really excited about being able to use this in the future now as soon as i go over and i get back over at chucky's i'm going to take this with me i'm going to hook up to uh, that 7.3 that we bought the 2001 i want to see if i can do a uh, injector buzz test with it and then things of that nature and see what kind of data that it gives but guys if you are going to get into the automotive um, world as a mechanic even if you work at a dealer i would highly suggest buying you know this one gets my seal of approval buy this one have it in your toolbox the shop you know, scan tools aren't always available it sucks to sit around in a flat rate shop and have to wait for one of the scan tools to become available. When I was at Volkswagen, they had two scan tools and that was it out of like 12 techs. So we were always having to freaking wait on your turn for the scan tool. And then it always became an argument and everything. Not only that, but when you're at home, 
this would be an invaluable to, uh, tool. It'll do OBD1, OBD2, it'll do manufacturer specific test. I really think it's a pretty, you know, it's a really good value and you know, I'll be using it on the channel and you guys will see it. So the people at launch, if you're watching it all the way to the end of this video, thank you for sending this to me. Like I said, guys, launch didn't like any the email chain. They didn't say, Hey, we'll send this to you. If you give us a positive review or Hey, we'll pay you to do this video for a positive review. All they said is we have this product. We think you would like it. Uh, we'd like to send it to you to test it out, review it. Um, if you like the product, uh, keep it, make a video about it. If you don't like the product, you can send it back to us. Let us know what we need to work on or let us change. And we'll make the adjustments to see if we can um, uh, and basically get my information, get my input to see if something needs to be different. So I think they actually have a pretty good product set up. Now, I've only got two vehicles here. I don't have the ability to, you know, to, to scan a Jaguar and a uh, Chevy and uh, every other freaking manufacturer out there. I don't own a car lot or anything. But the fact that it'll hook up to this BMW is, is pretty neat to me. But if you guys are going to buy this, I'm going to put a link for this down in the description. If you do buy this um, uh, this X4, X431 Launch Pro Mini, the X431 Pro Mini, if you do buy this off the Amazon link that I have down here, the channel does get a commission off that. It's like 5 to 7% or 5 to 10% of that sale goes to me for the channel. So if you do buy, they'll get a residual off of it off that link. And I know I'm you know, not technically supposed to tell you guys that, but you know, it's a little, little transparency. If you're looking for a scan tool, this is the one to get. You know, the, the price is right and really appreciate it. So I hope you guys liked the video. I know I drawn it on and on about the functionality of this thing, but I'm actually pretty impressed by it and I'm looking forward to getting to use it. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you guys have used a lot, anything from launch, let me know in the description. If you're planning on buying this or you're curious about it, throw your comments down below and get on fix something. And ask YouTube to send his play button. Yeah. Ask YouTube to send me my freaking play button. So little add addition to the end. I contacted Launch and I told them that I was done with the video. I'm about ready to upload it. They contacted me back and they said, hey, how would you like a discount code for your viewers? People are going to buy this, uh, this scanner. I said, fantastic. So there's discount code. Discount of $55. This code is only good until the 31st of this month. That's it. If you're going to buy this thing, you need to do it in a couple of, you know, within a couple of weeks. Buy it. Uh, get, your, uh, get your discount code. The discount code will be right here and it'll be down in the description. The way this works is you go down to the link in the description for the Amazon link to the <clears throat> to the scan tool itself. Go to Amazon. Put that in your cart. When you're going to go to checkout, in your checkout, there will be a little redemption code. Stick that this code right here in the, the redemption code and you'll get $55. It's $55.23 off. So if you're gonna buy it, fantastic time to get it. Some of you guys have probably asking yourself, well, how much does this thing cost? How much does this thing cost in the video? I had to edit that part out because originally I had added that, uh, I had said the wrong price. It's $750 for the scan tool, which is a fantastic value for the scan tool uh, as far as what you get. If you guys have ever bought scan tools or priced them out, you know, I mean, a quality scan tool starts around 2,000 bucks and goes up from there. I know that a lot of you guys, this is gonna be, you know, out of your, this is going to be out of your budget for what you do if you're only working on one car. I understand that. If you're going to be, if you're a full blown mechanic or a full blown mechanic and you work on stuff a lot, this is a fantastic tool to have. So if you want to buy it, hit that Amazon link down in the description or right here. Go over there, throw it in your cart, put this discount code in uh, the redemption spot or the distance, however that works on Amazon. I know it's when you go to the cart, but put that redemption code in. You get fifty-five dollars off of it. And if you guys buy it, write me and let me know. You know how you like it. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching and get out and pick some.